Hi, today I want to show you how easy it is to add your podcast to your website. And what I mean by that is adding a player on your website so that people can actually listen to your podcast right on your website. So let's say you have a podcast and you want to publish on your website, you'll see it's very simple. And this is done for WordPress. So in this in this um, situation, I have a site, which is a very simple site. It's like default Astra team, um, but it can be done for any type of WordPress website. Um, so the first thing you want to do is install this plugin called Podcast Player. So you'll go to uh, Plugin, Add New, and you will search for uh, Podcast Player. This, and that's this one by the Veda team. It's it's a relatively new plugin, but it's really great. They did a really good job. So we'll install it. And once it's installed, we're simply just going to click uh, Activate. And uh, by activating this, you'll you'll make uh, this kind of widget uh, available across your website so you can add your podcast to any pages. So we'll click activate right now. Um, once this is activated, I'm just going to go and click here. You'll see this new item called podcast player. So you can go in the settings. So right now, the settings by default are fine. But if you want, you can customize a couple of things. Um, so first of all, you can actually refresh, uh, change the interval when it's refreshed. So basically, it will fetch your podcast and then it will refresh it every two hour, 12 hours. So if you if you publish podcasts uh, on a constant basis, like if you publish every six hours, then you can change it to a smaller amount, right? Um, anything else is more kind of optimization. So I would leave it alone for now. So you don't really have to worry about it. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to a page and we're going to add a podcast to a page. So let's create a new page and we'll call it a uh, podcast. So now I'm using the new kind of block builder in WordPress. So that's the name of the page. So here's what I want to do is add a block. And essentially it's going to be, you can click podcast, uh, oops, sorry, podcast, and this will actually in um, um, put a block for you to add the player. Now, what is requesting now is a URL of your podcast. And this is the RSS feed of your podcast. Usually when you publish a podcast, you need to submit that to either Apple or Anchor FM or Spotify. Anyway, you're publishing your podcast, you need to publish a RSS feed. Uh, if you're doing that for someone else and you don't know the RSS feed, here's what I recommend doing. So you go to Google. Uh, and then you find the podcast. So in my case, I'm going to use um, Lewis O's podcast on Apple, uh, the School of Greatness. So I'm going to click on this podcast.apple.com. It usually all the podcast should be on Apple, honestly. So if it's not, it's a it's a missed opportunity. So we'll click on this, and what you want to do here is click Listen on Apple Podcast. So that will launch iTunes. So we're going to open iTunes. It's launching this. Um, what you want to do in iTunes, uh, if you, by the way, you can install iTunes on, on uh, uh, Windows. By there's a version for it. So you click subscribe, and once you subscribe to it, what you want to go is go to your library. So basically, you click here library, and then you will see the podcast right there. And then there's going to be a three dots. So you're going to click on this, and then you're going to click copy podcast URL. So that's the RSS feed essentially. So we're going to click on this. We're going to go here. Sorry, here. And we're going to click use URL. Here we go. So it generates a player for you. This is fantastic. So we're done. So we're just going to publish this uh, right there. And we're going to click view page. And here we go. We have our podcast page. We can load more episodes. And when we click on an episode, it will start the episode. It's a really great little plugin that they've made. So another thing is that this is available also for the sidebar. So let's say you have a sidebar you're using in WordPress. Um, you can go to Appearance Widget in the back end, and you can add the podcast here. You will see it's called Podcast. Let me find it. Podcast Player right there. So I'm going to add it to my main sidebar, and I'm going to call it Podcast for now here. And I'm going to put it the same URL, and I'm going to click Save. And you will see this should show up on my sidebar. And you see that it's it's a different style as well. It's kind of cool, right? So you can switch from episode. You can see the episode like that. They did a really good job. So it looks fantastic. Um, you can you can customize a little bit some of the of the thing you want to do, uh, like the description, a cover image, if you want to customize it so it's not using the RSS feed. And you can actually show and hide some items. It's actually really cool, right? So you can really totally take control over the player. 
uh, that you, you are using. So this is fantastic. Now, one more thing I want to show you is how to add it if you are using classic editor. So first of all, I'm going to, I'm going to add the, uh, classic editor. Um, here we go. So I'm going to go into add new a classic editor. And what I mean by that is the one without the blocks. So we're going to click activate. Let's go back to page and then we're going to add a new page. Um, so I'm going to just put a title classic, uh, editor, um, uh, podcast, and this is valid for actually anything that has, doesn't add a block builder. So what you want to do now is add a short code in WordPress. So short code, it starts with, you know, a bracket and end with a bracket like this. And in this case, the, the short code for the podcast player is simply pod, um, podcast here. And then you'll need to put the feed URL. So you need to put feed underscore URL equal this. And I'm just going to go back and grab my URL again, copy, paste it here. And that's pretty much it. So if I update, uh, I'll publish my page and I view, you will see it's going to load like this. So if you need more option for the, you know, the, 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 sorry, the podcast uh, short code, because there's lots of options. I highly uh, recommend you visit this page. It's a beta team blog slash L podcast player for free. Uh, you can actually search for beta teams uh, podcast player and you'll find it. It's in the documentation and it's the getting started podcast player short code. And you can see all these options. So if you can, if you want to change something, like I want to hide the header, so I'm going to do this and put it to true. So uh, here's an example like this. Whoops, I don't want to paste it in bold though. Uh, true, and I update. This is going to change a little bit the aspect of my player. So it's just change the header, but it didn't in this case. I'm not too sure what this, this option does, uh, but we can check hide the title so we can do this or hide the cover image. That would be a good one. Uh, like this, we want to do a space and then equal true. This. Will actually change the uh, title. I assume somewhere it didn't do it, so uh, I'm not too sure. But anyway, these are the options for your short code. Uh, if you want to experiment with them, if there's any issue, you can always post, you know, comments in the free plugin. Now, one more thing I want to mention is that this plugin, uh, the the player, uh, the podcast player. So uh, let's say Google Podcast Player. Uh, for uh, WordPress. Um, if you check here, there's a pro version. So you can actually control a lot more things with the pro version. So you can change the template, the display, and a lot of things. You can even remove some episodes from, from the list and things like that. It's very great. And um, if, if you're interested in this feature, I would highly recommend them. And you just have to pay for the premium version. It's $59. Sometimes people do complain, oh, it's $59, but if you think about it, it can save you a lot of time trying to customize it yourself or things like that. So I highly recommend to purchase it if you're interested in these pro version. But hey, this is how you uh, add a uh, podcast to your website very easily. Thank you.